Yeah, this vlogging thing is really awkward. It is a beautiful day in the DMV. My husband is chasing my dog. And <laughs> she lays down. What is that? She doesn't want to go in the house and she knows that I'm about to leave, so. Anyway, um, it is 4.30 in the afternoon and I should have been left, but you know, I'm a real person. We don't get up early in the morning and do the early morning stuff. This is awkward, I've, I've never done this before, so probably like super close to the phone. Anyway, um, plan on going to Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, and probably some used bookstores and then we'll see what's going on there. I'm gonna get settled and go get in the car because I'm already getting embarrassed because neighbors are looking at me. <laughs> All right, we made it to the car. We are going to actually go to a place called Wonder Books. It is a used bookstore on a very sketchy street. So I don't have hopes for it, but if we find some gems, if I find some, we'll let you know. We'll let you know. No, that's, don't, don't, see, you see the awkwardness, right? We don't know what we're doing. This is an experiment. I don't even know. Look, look how, uns, look how unnatural you are. <laughs> it just, we'll let you know. It's, we'll let we'll, you we'll, know. we'll let you guys know. Yeah, breathing like I was, I just ran it like a bear. <laughs> Nancy, hey, shout out to Dustin and Mark. We can get this weight off because. I can't even make it to my car without breathing hard. So let me let me give him another chance. We're going to a place called Wonder Books on a sketchy street, and I don't have any hopes for it. But if we find anything, you guys are coming with us, so you guys know. I would like to apologize in advance for my loud, boisterous laugh. I do get really loud. <laughs> Sorry. You guys are coming you with us. You can't do an air rewind, bro. That's so lame. That's so lame. We're lame. You guys are coming with us so you'll find out if we find You're going to see anyway, regardless. And if you guys, I don't know. We Look, look. This is new, okay? When people say it's awkward, I always look at them like, it's not awkward. It's like you're just talking to your friends. But no, it really is. And, um... <laughs> All right, so first I need to apologize for the glare off of the white spines y'all i could not get this lighting right but there were a lot of old series one of which i recognized was dragon voice if you guys saw my earlier videos i collected dragon voice in japanese because it was cheap one and i thought it was a cool story so i was interested in that my husband pulled out something else called gravitation never heard of it but i'm sure one of you out there have so with that said if there's something that should have picked up or something that's of value or something that you're like girl why did you leave that there let me know in the comments below because it's gonna be there i don't think anyone's gonna go get it um but they did have some series that were you know kind of relevant not new uh fushigi yuki is not new but um but the pricing was just not right you guys will see in a little bit i'll pick up short cake cake and that was too much for that crusty volume uh -uh, no so um, I'm going to scroll through here a little bit and um, hopefully you guys enjoy. So because we're not vloggers, we forgot to tell you that we're going to a place called Beyond Comics. And Beyond Comics is like a, a local comic book shop. I've gotten some really good stuff from here. Well, I actually, I've, actually, I've gotten nothing from here. My husband 
came here and bought me stuff. Real no, I didn't. I got like. He ordered stuff from here. I think I got. I got a couple of volumes of Dora He Dora from here. Anyway, it was a comic book shop. And apparently the manga section has grown. So it's time for me to go in. All right. So I kind of scrolled through here fast. There were a few things that I didn't recognize. So you see me kind of grabbing for it. But yes, they are new to manga. Um, the entire store is full of comics, American comics, if you're into that thing. A lot of indie comics. I actually found myself looking at some of them. But um, I just want to show you guys the manga today. Uh, you know, not much, but they're they're not doing bad. They brought in some pretty mainstream things and some things that are not so mainstream. So I think they have potential. I will be checking them out um, from now on, popping in, supporting my local store. So enjoy. Okay, I had to get out of there. There was a lot going on. <laughs> they they had a magic competition. And if y'all know anything about magic, magic people are serious. Like, it's a serious game. My husband was, like, walking around somebody, and they didn't even move. They were just there playing their game. I was like, mm, it's time to go. But there's some really nice people. I bought one volume. I probably could have bought it at Barnes & Noble. But... You gonna show them the volume? You know, we'll later. Just... I'm gonna I'm mute you out. You, you can't be saying things. My bad. They're not supposed to know that I bought anything. Well, you guys know that you I bought something. You just said you, you know, bought a volume. <laughs> <laughs> I bought one volume. <laughs> <laughs> just tell them you bought it. Wow, okay. My bad. Dang. What? <laughs> we are on our way to Barnes and Noble, which is superior to Books A Million by a long shot. By a long shot, is that? Yeah. That works? Let's see, works. I'm not good with colloquialisms. You got it. I'll Big do, word. I'll, I'll give that to you. Yeah, he's trying to act like I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm the English major. She almost tripped, you saw you, that? You, you, Did you see that? And then she walks slow. Oh, she getting in the car in front of y'all. Wow. And yep. Five head. <laughs> Y'all, please excuse me. Sorry. Mr. Book I'm Vibes. <laughs> you know what? Excuse us, because we were one over here running our mouth. Here, look. I'm going to show y'all Barnes & Noble real quick. show y'all all the manga but they you know Barnes & Noble basically has the you know the, the regular stuff nothing nothing new so I'm gonna just get on up out of here um are we gonna go eat now or... yeah yeah he was thinking Korean barbecue so that might be an adventure I'm tired <laughs>
so after dinner we went to this place well, some kind of little accessory store and we played with the little what are these called like token machines the token machines and we got these so we're gonna see what we have and he got out of the demon slayer thing and i got out the tokyo revengers i got a demon slayer and um oh shoot i picked out of the demon slayer i just, I just said that. how many times are you gonna say and, that and um my hero Oh, ill, boo, my hero, boo. I'm not a my hero fan, y'all. Oh, you got a sister. Oh, you got Nezuko. Nezuko, Nezuko. Oh, you got Nezuko. 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 Your hands are so big, bro. I can't see anything. Nezuko. There you go. All right. Nezuko. The stand. Next one. All right. Then Nezuko. And what was neat is Demon Slayer was almost all out. They had two things left, right? So I put the tokens in and I ended up two for the price of one. So I didn't tell them that though. Robber. <laughs> <Stole them in. laughs> all right, so let's hopefully this one is Tanjiro. Or maybe Michael Jackson. Let's see what this one is. I ain't so going to fast forward this. <laughs> hey, it's the, I forgot his name. It's the pig guy. Oh, I, uh, what's his name? You said the pig guy. Well, he's, he's great anyway. The dude with the pretty eyes. <laughs> He's the, the gorgeous guy. Cool. All right. Comment his name below because I know y'all know. Next one, sir. Come sorry, on. Sorry, sorry. Let's go hang out with Nezuko. Now for my hero. Uh -uh. You don't get excited. Yeah, my hero low key lit. I ain't watched it in a while, but I like it. Maybe I'll give it another chance. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Tojiro or um, Tojiro? No, no, no. Oh, he's a cool one. He's a he's kind of like yeah, an anti-hero or something. Yeah, right? he's he's like oh, a, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. I don't know anything about them. He's half fire, half ice. Okay. All right, now it's book vibes. Z -Z -Z -Z. Kiki, Kiki. AKA That's Kiki. So weird. Her turn. Better known as. I bet better known as. Oh, I see how you were struggling. Oh, because yeah, it has a tape it. on it. You gotta take. I don't have any tape on my. Oh. Phil. <laughs> hey, you, you better. Hey, listen, let me talk. Tossing that tape in my car. Oh my bad. Bro, there's a little clip. There's I a can't clip. do it. There's a clip, man. Where? Oh, oh. <laughs> you tried to see. I'm a listen, Phil. Hold on, man. Look, you had too much soju. <laughs> <laughs> Tape? What is going on? How do you open it? There you go. There we go. What? I don't know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is. She is in Tokyo Revengers. Who is this? Y'all know who this is. Y'all tell me because I just started reading. I'm only on volume seven, so. I don't know who this is. Next. Is that his girlfriend, the main guy's girlfriend? I think it is. Is it Tayo in this? It's all in Japanese. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Oh, you should turn off that light for that poor lady. Oh, she's fine. All right, and the next one. The same one. Listen, Kelly. Oh listen, my listen, listen, goodness. Listen. You gotta stick your finger down there like that, there you go. Oh. These aren't even figures. They're just keychains. <laughs> <laughs> I spent that... twelve dollars on this. Who is this? I know who this is. It's one of the. He, he's one of the main. He's one of the cool guys. I don't remember his name. Y'all know his name. Y'all tell me. What are you doing? Are you showing me? Yeah. Why? Well, I show the. I, sh I show that too. So you. Well, these are cool. I'll just put these somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I know three days has been a lot. I'm sorry, my dog was drinking loud as crap. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I know three days is a long time. You know, life happens, you know, you know. Anyway, so I wanted to show you guys what I picked up 
on that trip that we had. What a great day. We had so much fun filming this. But the first place we went was... Um, um, Wonder Books. Wow. Went to Wonder Books. And I grabbed those three volumes. Let me put it in order. I grabbed those three volumes of dragon voice i got volumes two five and six and if you guys haven't some of you guys don't know but in the beginning of my journey i wanted to learn japanese which i still do i still want to learn japanese and i still will i'm working on it now trying to figure out if i want to com continue self-taught or take a class blah 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 anyway i bought dragon voice the entire series in Japanese just so I can read it well I figured I don't even know what Dragon Voice is about so I can't really interpret the story all I can do is read the letters and write the stuff down later and hope for the best so I was like you know what I'm gonna buy the series in English so right now I am actively looking for the rest of the series in English I have a few other volumes coming in and I hope to complete this so that I can read it in Japanese and in English. Also, if you guys are interested in me doing like a Japanese learning journey, then um, I would be happy. What was that? I'm hearing things. I would be happy to put that on the channel too. Next, I picked up a volume from Beyond Comics, which is the second place we went to. And I got Island in a Puddle by K. K. Sanbei. And I got it because it sounded depressing, um, but it also sounds interesting at the same time. Like, it's just not one of those depressing mangas that's just depressing for no reason. Um, I've also heard from other people that it's kind of like a mystery and there's some gore in there. So, yeah, yeah I know I'm interested in that kind of stuff. And I was like, let me, let me try something different. Um, and this was solely bought out of curiosity. Um, I don't normally get stuff that looks like this. So, kind of excited for this. And the last place I went is Barnes & Noble. I picked up one new series, and the rest are, like, new releases from um, series that I'm already collecting. So the new series that I picked up was Sakamoto Days. Everybody and their mom and daddy got this. Um, I was reading it on the Shonen Jump app. I loved it, and I said I want to collect it because it is funny, and I think I will read it again. I think it's great. It's amazing. Mwah, chef's kiss. Um, I also picked up Something's Wrong with Us Volume 7. You guys know, you know, um, I picked up Record, Record of Ragnarok Volume 2. People had to say something about the cover. Y'all are nasties. Y'all nasty. But it's, it's it's you know, he's just holding. I don't know. Actually, I don't know what's going on because I haven't even read Volume 1. <sighs> and I picked up Rent a Girlfriend Volume 12. Another series y'all love to hate but because you, you can't see deep. You can't see deep what's going on. It's... You read what you like. If it vibes with you, that's what you do. Let me leave y'all alone. I'm going to let y'all have it. I'm going to let y'all have it. But rent a girlfriend vibes with me. And that's what I'm going to keep on doing until the series ends. Because I really like it. Okay? Okay. And that is it. Is that it? Hey, y'all. So I didn't, I didn't film an outro. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching that video for that very choppy weird put together vlog it has been insane i had so much fun my husband had so much fun filming and by the way that is mr book vibes i didn't even formally introduce him he is out of town right now so we're gonna do more of these um hopefully you guys enjoy this one and we get better <laughs> hopefully i film properly because vloggers y'all do a lot of work so kudos to people who vlog anyway thank you guys for watching hope you guys come and join me for my next video like comment subscribe love y'all peace out